Hello, my lovely viewer. You are welcome again to this episode of my videos. Well, in this video, I will show how to set up a solar PV system to supply power to normal AC home appliances. All right, so in my previous video, I showed how to set up a solar PV system to supply power to DC loads. But in this very video, I'll show how to set up a solar PV system to power AC home appliances. Okay, so usually the appliances we use at home that we normally connect to the grid are appliances that work on AC voltage. And so if we want a backup electricity to power those same appliances when the grid is off, then we need a setup that can produce AC voltage. And to be able to do that with the solar PV system, we will need the solar panel, we will need batteries, we will need a charge controller, and then we will need an inverter. Okay, so I'll be showing how to connect these components together to be able to give us power that can supply our AC appliances. So this inverter is what will change the DC voltage into AC voltage. Okay, so in the first video, we made use of only the panel, the rechargeable battery, and then the controller. But in this system, because we need power that can make our AC appliances work, we have to bring in the inverter to convert the DC voltage that is produced from the panel and the battery into an alternating voltage that can power our AC appliance. In this video, the AC appliance that I'm using here is a fan, an industrial fan. So this is our AC appliance that will be supplying power to. Okay, so this cord is connected to the fan. And so after everything, this is what we are connecting to the inverter to supply power to the fan. I have already mentioned the components needed for this setup. Now, this is a very small system just for this demonstration. But in reality, you may need a bigger panel, charge controller, inverter, and then bigger and more batteries, depending on the number of loads that you need to supply power to and the number of hours that you want your solar PV system to be able to supply power to those appliances, considering the size of those appliances. And so there are important rules to follow when connecting the components together. All right, so in real life situation, the battery must be connected first by first connecting the negative battery cable to the negative battery terminal on the controller before connecting the positive battery cable to the positive battery terminal on the controller. Then after connecting the battery correctly, then you come to the solar panel to the solar panel here again, because it's a small system, the cables are readily connected from inside the controller, and then sockets are brought out for connection. But in bigger systems, you will have positive and negative terminals for the connection of the solar panel to the controller. All right, so practically, this is how it is done. Because now we want AC power output. We are bringing in the inverter. The inverter is connected in parallel with the battery. So here, because we don't have terminals, I'll find a way to connect positive and negative from here to the inverter. Okay. Okay, so here, this is the battery cable. And so I'll use these pieces of wire to be able to connect power from here to the inverter. All right. So negative here. And then positive here. If I had a charge controller with terminals, it would have been much easier. Okay. All right. So as I explained earlier, the first thing to do is to connect the battery, the negative first, and then the positive. 
but here I can only connect them together at the same time. Okay, so I'll have to make sure that the cables I just connect have good connection. Okay. All right, so this is the inverter. The inverter also have positive and then negative. So this negative will connect to the negative from the battery. Then the positive terminal will connect to the positive of the inverter. Okay. All right, so inverter to battery connection done. So the next thing is to connect the panel. So we connect the panel to the charge controller. The panel is what brings in the DC voltage to charge the battery. All right, so here, because we are doing AC system, we need an inverter output. So here, instead of connecting our load to this socket, we will now have to connect it from the output of the inverter, which will give us AC voltage. All right, so here, this is the battery input voltage. Okay, before we connect the load, I would want us to check with the voltmeter to be sure. All right, so here. And then we go to negative and then positive. So here, as you can see, we have 224 volts. 224 volts is very much enough to power our AC loads. Okay. So now, off for us to connect our load. And then switched on. The load has a switch. So I switch on. And then there you can see the fan working. This fan is an AC appliance. And then it's being supplied from our solar PV system. Though the sun is not enough, because we have a battery in the setup, as you can see, our AC load is now on and it's working. Okay. All right, so this lamp is another load that works on AC alone. I'm going to connect that one too to the inverter. And then switch on the inverter. All right, so at home, if you want alternative power supply to power your lamps, your fans, and your AC appliances, then in putting up your solar system, you would need a solar panel or a number of solar panels. You need a rechargeable battery or a number of rechargeable batteries. You need a charge controller. And then you also need an inverter. But then, before I end this video, I have to say that there are still a lot of things to know before you should try setting up a solar PV system on your own. For instance, before you start getting materials for your solar PV installation, you must first know how much power you need to generate from that solar PV system because that will affect the size and number of panels, the size of inverter, and the size and number of batteries that will be needed to generate that power. In the next video, I will explain how to determine the size of the various components that you will need to install a solar PV system for a particular load. Thank you very much for watching this video. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.